there are two skills in the microbiology laboratory that students must learn. The first one is how to wrap the uh, Petri dish properly. And the other one is how to make cotton plug for test tube. Now, I'm going to demonstrate first how to wrap the Petri dish. Okay, so we are going to use here a used paper. So one sided, one side is clean, the other side is already been printed. This is our way of recycling used paper. Now, with a clean side, this is where you are going to uh, wrap the Petri dish in, in, inside it. Not, not this side, okay, not this side because if the paper gets wet, the prints in here will transfer to your Petri dish and it will, uh, it will hinder you from observing your setup or the colonies or the microorganisms that you would like to study inside the Petri dish. So make sure what comes in contact with your Petri dish is the clean side of the paper. So okay, so this is how we are going to uh, wrap the Petri dish. Our paper here is size A4. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is fold one end of this paper approximately one inch in width okay in this direction and then you fold the same in the other end but opposite opposite direction opposite direction okay this one like that so we can see this one going this side and the other one towards the other side okay and we are going to make these ends meet at the center, overlapping each other. Do you see that? So like this and then overlap. Okay, and then pull it to tighten. Okay, so the Petri dish is now at the center. And then you just have to fold this on the side like this. And the other side, fold it like that. Do also on the other side. And the other side okay and then fold to the opposite side okay so you will know that this one is the right side up okay when you see this one this is the right side up but even when it's overlapping in here the moisture cannot enter the petri dish because it is sealed okay so sometimes your microbiology instructor will instruct you to incubate your plates in the incubator upside down so you just simply do it like this you will know that this one is upside down because the folds are in here and then you stack together all the petri dishes now i have uh, a bit of twist today what i'm going to do is i i have invited two of my students oops don't think bad uh, don't think that I am violating the rule that there is no uh, there must be no face-to-face -face interaction with my students okay it just so happened that they are my nieces and we live in the same house so first I have Ella and Tagal ha Gala. Okay, Ella. Ella was my student in microbiology laboratory when we were still in Mindanao State University. She has already graduated and she's now working. And another in is I have Jillian. Jillian. Uh, Jillian is also my niece and she's my student now in microbiology as in this semester. Okay, so what we are going to do is the three of us will wrap the uh, Petri dish the way I, uh, I demonstrated it earlier and then we'll mark it A, B, C, D. Oh no, A, B, C only because there are only three of us. And then you have to guess which one is the Petri dish that I wrapped. If you were my student before, then at least probably you know how I wrap Petri dish. And I would like to see your comment down 
if you got it if you got it right okay so the three of us are going to wrap the petri dish this is it okay girls yeah. ready get set go Guess which of this is the Petri dish that I wrapped, okay? So have a look. I'm just going to give you a quick look at this. So this is the way it was done. Okay. Okay. These Petri dishes were uh, wrapped properly. They're all correct. Okay. That's B. And this one is for letter C. Okay. Yes, I would like I would like to know if you got it correct. Okay? So please write it in the comment. Okay, so this time I'm going to demonstrate how to make cotton plug for test tube. This test tube is a 20 ml test tube and I'm going to make cotton plug for this. The reason why we are using cotton plug is that cotton plug um, cotton plugs allow gas exchange but it prevents microorganisms from contaminating your culture if you are culturing aerobic microorganisms inside your test tube so what are the materials that i need okay i need the scissors i need the thread i need goose bandage and of course cotton okay so this one you are going to from the cotton you are going to cut approximately two inches in width So, two inches, this one. And then, you roll in this side, just allowing this side to be puffy. Roll like this. Okay. Until you can create a size that would fit in your test tube. Okay. So, like this. And then, now I think this will fit and then what you're going to do is to roll it between your fingers okay it's rolling between my fingers like that so that you can create a kind of uh, neck okay so like this one is the head and this one is the neck okay and then those that uh, are extras in here you can just cut that and also the one here so that you will have this one you can already use this as cotton plug you see it fits perfectly to the test tube but if you are culturing this um, I mean if you are culturing in this test tubes for quite a long time the pulling of this cotton plug in and out of the test tube will ruin the cotton plug so that we can prolong its uh, uh, good shape what we are going to do is to wrap it in the ghost bandage so I have a ghost bandage here that is four inches in width okay so what I'm going to do is to wrap it like this okay like that and then I will cut and this time I'm going to tie this with that one approximately one inch from here to here you tie that with the thread okay so it's tied and then to make it looking tidy we have to uh, tie also the ghost bandage here at this end okay so tie this up Lock it and cut. See? Now we have a cotton plug. Okay? Uh, you can just uh, remove the excess thread. And we have now a cotton plug that you can uh, easily use to cover the test tube. So it's easy to handle. It's not messy. It's uh, tidy and reusable. Okay? So this is how you make a cotton plug. Now this time, just like earlier, I would like to invite Ella and Julian again. 
to make cotton plugs with me. And you will have to guess which one is the cotton plug that I made. Okay? So, come on, Ella and Julian. <laughs> Ella and Julian, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Now we are going to make cotton plugs. So, ready? One, two, three, go. I'm gonna be expecting your uh, your comment if you guessed correctly. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Bye bye, guys, and see you again soon.